everybody says. Saturday, 2.38. short stem about questions and things that you guys ask me all the time. I'm gonna start, hi Lila, I'm gonna start by answering what do I eat. So right now, uh, since I'm doing a competition, I'm eating limited calories, meaning I'm only eating uh, pumpkin, melon, strawberries, chicken, egg whites, Mm, egg whites, uh, ole wraps, protein powder, obviously, and I think that's about it. Sad, right? And a lot of salad. So those are the things that I'm eating right now. Lila, I'm always bawling, but thank you. I did call myself doing a protein shake today but it's all good oh it's bleeding again anyways other questions that you guys might have do you want to uh, ask me or do you want me to just keep answering questions that you regularly ask you guys decide hi sheldon You decide. If not, then I'll keep answering questions from the top of my head. And mostly I will be doing them today about foods because you guys ask a lot of things of what I eat and diet is pretty important so you guys know where it's at. And I like that you ask those things. Well, as an schedule, I am doing like one or two days of steaming and I'm doing them around my working out hours, which is approximately 1 p.m. Eastern time uh, till 3. But I'm not doing like a long one. I'm doing it short because I am uploading them on sometimes on YouTube. Hi, Top Wanted. Yes, we could do a cooking steam for sure. I'm planning on that one. I just need to keep, I'm moving so you guys can see my new place. It is not finished yet, but look how pretty it's turning out to be. You can see outside, there's a lake. Very, very pretty. Yes, Sheldon. So another thing that I like to eat a lot and the reason why is because it is very, very filling and well, you guys probably already know it, but it is really filling. It has a lot of fiber. It has a lot of nutrients. It is low caloric and high volume, meaning it will fill your stomach up and make you less hungry during any diet that you're at. And guess what that is? I'll give you the I'll give you the chance to show them I do not eat alligators. I'll give you guys the chance to answer that one because you know it. You know my favorite of all times. What is it? Yes, watermelon. Good job, Sheldon. You are in tune with me, so I love that. Good job. And another one is strawberries. Strawberries are very, very filling, and they're super low, low, low 
caloric. So they're important in my diet to stay filled up and keep my levels really high of energy. So that's very important for me. Ola Finest. Another staple in my diet are egg whites. Eggs, they, con they help you help, um, your hormones. They help keep you filled. They contain a lot of protein. That, that's very key and very important on any diet. So eggs are super, super, super important in any bodybuilder's diet, I think. Unless you're vegan, then that will be beans or, do you guys eat beans? I don't know if vegans eat egg whites, but I don't think so. That depends, one is vegan and one is vegetarian, so they're different. But anyways, that's another subject. Why don't, don't you eat the jokes? I eat the jokes. I eat um, two jokes a day, and I also eat salmon. So the reason why you should, if unless you're on a keto diet, the reason why is because you don't need that much fat, unless you're on a keto diet, to replenish your body with nutrients because the most important things that your body needs is carbs, protein and if you're in carbs and protein you have to keep your fat minimal so that's why i only take two jokes daily and salmon which is also fat and i also eat the granola ones that i have shown you that julian's one that i have on my link here and you guys can purchase that typing the julian link so that granola also is fatty it contains coconuts, it contains almonds, um, it contains a lot of good stuff, protein too. Sometimes me and my grandma. Well, Lila, you're very smart. That is a really good way to do scrambled eggs on the microwave. You just put one minute and you're gone, to, you're gone for work or for your schedule or for your workout. So that's an easy way to do your eggs. Good job, Lila. So it's mainly in the jokes. Yes, all of the fats of the eggs are in the yolk. Yes, but also the good edge. Uh, the yolk is amazing. I'm not saying don't eat it. I eat it, but you don't need as many yolks as you need as egg whites, if that makes sense. But the yolk is very important because that's the one that creates your good hormone production up to tune, so eat the jokes, guys. I love the joke, honestly. If I could eat the whole package of jokes, I, I would. I just love the jokes. It is my favorite part. Um, thank you, Sheldon. Okay, I'm trying to keep it different for you guys. The country are crowded with GMO. Well, Honestly, I try to buy as many things as organic as I can, but sometimes there's no organic. So the GMO things, yeah, it's something big, but sometimes you just have to grab the eggs. <laughs> well, you have to go with what is there. I mean, just say a blessing to the eggs. Eggs, please be super healthy, you will be super healthy to my body and you will do no harm to my body. I will eat you egg and you will give me gains. Amen, amen. And just eat the, the egg with GMO. <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I try to get up as many things as organic as I can, but organic sometimes is not available everywhere. So just saying, grab it, pray for it, Bless it and eat it. <laughs> I do not drink milk anymore. I used to love to drink milk, but I don't do it for moral reasons. I don't like how they extract the milk. I don't believe that you should take away a little cow from its mom 
and grab its milk. So I stopped drinking milk for that reason, but I used to love milk. I drank milk all the time. But now there's plant-based milks. So I am so happy for that. I love almond milk on Sweden, obviously. Uh, cashew milk, coconut milk. There's a lot of options that you can go through. Yes, Rocky, that's true. 90% um, of the foods are probably GMO. But you try, we, we just have to try and grab the best ones. I get five to eight hours, depends. I'm just too hyper and I don't sleep much. I try to though, but <laughs> too hyper. Sheldon, that's good to know. Yes, I got an event, Sheldon. The event will be a, a I will be competing on November 14th. Um, on the Gold Cup as a wellness and physique for the first time in my life. Do you know that I just do this because I love it, but I want some exposition and sponsors, so I'm doing it for that and to see what happens. I mean, the sky's the limit. Hi, Mark. Welcome. Underneath your eyes. Thank you, Amar. Thanks for saying my under eyes are pretty. <laughs> Never had that compliment before, so that's awesome. Once nice, I should share this. Under. Yes, Sheldon. Always is a good way to share bits. Bits make the world go round. So what else do I eat? Let's see. Uh, so I use the slim pills that I'm gonna show you guys. I use that to lower my glycogen levels, uh, glucose levels, when I'm eating carbs, making the carbs go inside the muscle because you won't have that sugar spike that you get when you eat carbs. So that makes it stable and the carbs actually go to your muscles. There's a big science behind that. I think they describe it on the site, but Basically, that's the summary of it. I'll show you right now. These are the slim pills. You can grab it on my link in my bio of Instagram. Slim pills. Thank you, Sheldon. You're awesome. So, as you can see, oops. They're for the carbohydrate catalyst. So, that means it will help you get those, those carbs inside the muscles, which is very important if you're trying to gain muscles. And my thermogenic. Oh, and the discount is CMC. 10 and this is the thermogenic i use which i really really love it makes you sweat like crazy coke red literally it is cold red you sweat like a horse running 100 miles i'll flex good job sheldon thank you thanks for supporting the channel and thank you awesome rocky thank you and you can grab it with my discount cmc if you go to my instagram you will probably find it on the no you will find it on the stories or just press the link in the bio and where it says supplements you just click there look for the slim pills and you're good to go Thank you so much, Sheldon, for that. That's awesome from you guys. Another thing that I eat a lot is, I said pumpkin, I said, I eat squash, which is also pumpkin, or spaghetti squash, because they're very low in calories. 
and you can eat basically the whole spaghetti squash like nothing and they're super filling also apple cider vinegar is a staple in my diet what apple cider vinegar does is helps with bloating it helps you synthesize the proteins it helps your body get alkaline it helps ph levels it helps balance your body and ph and a lot of good stuff so why not drink it if you, it is going to be awesome for your body all right come back on the ship good job sheldon how i drink it is i use a lot of it i drink two ounces or more four ounces if i can during the day with a lot of water because you cannot drink apple cider vinegar I mean, you can, but I don't do it because the enamels, it deteriorates it. So when you drink it, drink it with a straw. So it goes away from the enamel, it goes inside and not on the teeth. Also, uh, I put lemons on them. So I drink on the morning lemon and apple cider. And I use that for my morning routine daily. Yes, Lila, ask me. That will make how much and when do you drink? I drink it at every meal, honestly. But the main meal, I use it on the breakfast. I use about two ounces of apple cider vinegar and one lemon on the morning. And I drink it on a 64 ounce gallon of water, a bottle of water. Yes, Sheldon, I would use pronamel toothpaste. They help a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yes, I'm doing a Saturday stream. Of course, Rocky, anything you need. And another thing I eat a lot Mm, mm, mm. I eat a lot of garlic. It is very helpful for the whole body. Garlic is antibiotical, is it? Antibacterial. Antibacterial, so it helps a lot inside your body to heal things. Antifungal. There, both are the things. It is very medicinal, so why not have it? And it tastes amazing. It is calorie free basically and why not i use a lot of pepper pepper helps accelerate the metabolism metabolism because it heats up the body and it tastes awesome as well barbecue sauce i use a lot of barbecue sauce that is sugar free because sugar free is the way to go make sure those ingredients are in shape shape and the ones that I use are Mr. Hugs, which are the best ones for me, what I have seen compared to others. No, it actually helps with, um, it helps with inflammation actually. Exactly. A garlic is anti-inflammatory, that's correct. Yes, garlic is amazing and it tastes glorious. Uh, coffee, teas, matcha teas. I use matcha tea for my training. Um, it helps me get energy. It is good for the skin. Um, any type of tea is just very beneficial for your body. Teas are made from leaves and they just help from the inside out you always have to get all the insides of your body uh, healthy because that's the most important thing your insides for me it is crucial so i'm always as natural as possible as i can be like 
the GMO I cannot prevent on every food, but I try to eat as much whole foods as I can. Also, I eat Kamut cereal, but without any sugar in it. I'll show you which one I use. And let me wash this off. So the camel cereal that I use is this. See, it says organic and everything. It contains no sugar and only 50 calories per cup. This is popcorn. It is the same. It is also organic. And it contains no sugar. only 60 calories per cup so that's the cereal I use and I pour also granola on it yes Silva for me diet means lifestyle I don't see a diet as something bad diet for me is a way of life like I have chosen the foods that I like the most and have made the best of it. So I get to eat anything that you like, I can replicate healthier. Meaning, you guys love pizza, I know. So I have made pizza healthy. So I use the Olay wraps, turkey uh, breast, and I put tomato paste and tomato sauce on it, on the wrap and just make a piece out of it, but I do not add cheese. If you guys want to add cheese, you can, but I just replicate everything that you do healthy because you do not have to miss out on any foods that are unhealthy when you're on a healthy lifestyle. Well, those, there's actually Fruit Loops on healthy versions on Amazon. Yes, children, we all know that you love pizza. And I do tacos healthy. I do uh, cakes healthy. I'm actually a professional baker, so I replicate cakes that are healthy for you. That's correct, Top. You cannot beat a homemade pizza. Then I just cut out all the tasty foods. I only eat for few for work. Well, Silva, you get to, we do monot um, do the same thing, bodybuilders. Uh, in order to not do a lot and get flustered, so we do eat the same thing over and over and over, but I have managed to make my same things over and over fun to eat, like I, Always, every day, I eat a ice cream. So that's a protein ice cream that I make. That about 14 ounces of strawberries, a protein powder. I use war gum, a little tiny teaspoon, uh, or one eighth, I mean, of a teaspoon. I add a little bit of water, like four ounces. And that's it. I eat ice cream. That's ice cream. And I eat it every day. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Sheldon. Thank you for subscribing, Real Dark. That means the world to me. And that's how I make my ice cream every day. I actually use a Smart Cakes, a Smart Cake cake and I put it on the ice cream and I also put sugar-free uh, chocolate syrup on it so who thinks I'm dieting seeing the whole bowl I make like 32 ounces of ice cream 
and I eat that like nothing. That goes in my calories and it is super healthy. And you're having fun at eating your proteins and your fruits. Well, I do make arroz con habichuela, meaning rice with beans. I use cauliflower rice. I get black beans because black beans have more protein than the regular. And I just do the same thing. So it is the healthy version of it. Or I use a quinoa. Quinoa is like seeds, and you, you might see them on bird food, <laughs> but it is basically the same as rice, but with more benefits. It has more amino acids, it has more protein, it has more fiber, and it is better than rice. So I go more for the nutritional stuff than just to eat for eating. So that's why I do not eat rice, white rice. I don't see it as nutritional. So I do not eat rice. I do not eat white pasta. The pasta that I eat is from beans, made from beans. Um, I use one made um, from black beans. So it has the proteins that you need and it's very, very low in carbs. Yes. Well, Sheldon, you can make an I that ice cream that I told you, and you can put coconut milk on it if you want. And let me see. White rice is poor fuel. Yes, Silva, it is very poor fuel for me. It doesn't contain as much value. And also, here's a trick for those who eat rice. Pour coconut oil first on the, like a tiny bit to cut the carbs in half. Pour first coconut oil on the water, then pour the rice, and then let it cool for 12 hours. That will create a capsule on the rice and it will help you have 50% of the calories less. So that's a scientific experiment that was made and it actually worked. So if you're trying to lower your calorie intake with having more food, do that. If you do it, eat rice, I mean. So what the coconut uh, does is it creates a capsule on the rice and when you do eat it, it doesn't absorb everything as it should without the coconut oil. So there's a very, very fun tip. I am leaving in two minutes and I'm so flattered that you guys tune in with me. Do you guys have any other questions for me to answer? I have get, given you a lot of hacks for today, but if you have another question, ask me before I go. Yes, Silva, try it. First pour the water, then pour a little bit of uh, coconut oil, and then pour the rice. Let it cool for 12 hours, so this will be best done at night. And then enjoy your meal. Laser, I will do some algebra for you. What's your Instagram? My Instagram is uh, Caroline Fit. Carol, you can see um, Caroline like this. Caroline Fit underscore. That's my Instagram. So do follow me there and show me some love. And I also have a YouTube channel, which is Caroline Marquez. But that one I will put on the link in the video so you can just press it. One more question. How often do you do cardio? I do cardio right now because I'm competing six days a week. Um, but normally I just do five days a week, half an hour. Yes. 
So thank you for being here and showing me some support. I love you guys. See you later, Martians. And follow me on Instagram. And there you can see more tips. And grab your slim pills and your goodies. Bye. Oops.